So you've decided you'd like to go to a rocket launch held by a rocket club, and you aren't sure what happens there or what to expect? Well, let me show you how a typical launch day goes with my club, UROC, the Utah Rocketry Club. Come along as we experience one of our sport launches. Okay, it's about everybody here, so we'll go ahead and get started. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, May 18th. This is the May launch of the Utah Rocket Club. Um, weather is uh, beautiful right now, and it's expected to remain. It's interesting, we were supposed to have some clouds today, but I, I don't see that right now. We'll watch it throughout the day. I don't think there's any expected precipitation today at all. Um, we uh, have our waiver. It is in place and activated. That is up to 10,000 feet above ground level out here. And um, no windows or anything are required on that. It's just open to 10,000 all the time. Apparently my watch thinks it knows more. Uh, a couple of things. Who here has never been here before? Raise your hand. Okay, not too many. So everybody that didn't have their hand up, just ask questions. We're all happy to help answer them, but I'll go through a few things really quick for you. Uh, every flight that you do out here, you have to have a flight card filled out. Flight cards are over here in this little, on this table over here. It's the RSO table. Um, and uh, that's where we'll inspect your rocket. We'll review your flight card, and then we will put what pad number that rocket's going to on it. Once you have that, you'll bring the rocket over through here, and you'll go out to the pads. Now, the pads are kind of a strange numbering system today. We've got A out here on the, for the model rockets, and that's 1 through 8. And then the next group, the mid-range pads, are I, 1 through 4. And then way out there for the big stuff, we've got G. Um, and that's all we have set up. We do not anticipate a huge number of people like uh, we had last month out here. So we think this will be enough, but if we decide we need more pads, we'll adjust. For what? Once the safe debriefing is over, it's time to get your rocket ready to launch. This is an exciting time where people are packing parachutes, installing motors, filling out a flight card, and heading over to the RSO table for a safety inspection. No pressure, we're just watching you. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not stupid, right? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I mean, I know that that's insulation, but like, what does yeah. it mean? Um, well, yeah, it'd be dumb to hire my class on. Yeah, yeah. You get very itchy They're very fast. Using the Estes paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I use like. Uh, Probably have a little <laughs> too much dog bark. Alright, I got a J250. 54 millimeter motor mount. I was it's a little lift there, but. Ben. Howdy. That's a high level two. two. Certification. Yep. Okay. Let's see, so Neil's certifying you. Jed. Uh, Jed. Jed is over in our, okay. So, okay. Let's see what we got here. And we've repaired all the other ones. Right there. Yeah, like the pressure is 18.4 inches. Hey, thank you. Button right there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Jamie's a fifth player. Pop and shear pins, right? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a electronic right here. So there's a separate joint. Those are yeah. permanently yeah. tight, yeah. okay? Yep. Uh, J250. Okay. All right. So you're going to be on next round. You're going to be on. You need buttons, right? All buttons. Yep. So you're going to be I3. All right. Okay. Let's go see the rocket. Left to Lucy. What? It's really tight on there. You need to get it. There we go. I got it. Taking it off. Because I gotta, I gotta crack it open. I don't wanna. Okay, because I'm going on that.
I, yeah, sure, I can help you set up real quick. But. Can you help? No damage. Oh, Hold it. There's usually a slot, isn't there? No, this is a hole. Oh, okay. This should go up like eight inches or so. Yeah. Need to arm the electronics? Yep. Yeah, once we test continuity. Make sure they're not touching. Okay, let's go. Nap has a locked Patriot. I gotta watch this one. This is level two. There's a level two cert flight. Jed's looking at it. This is on a J250. Pad I3 Sterling. Going in five, four, three, two, one. That was awesome. It's a yellow chute. Got a chute. Yeah, I see it's shoot. <laughs> 